show you the highlights of how things went down on a wet day in Madison, Wisconsin, as the top 10 ranked Badgers trying to stay undefeated, which we just told you moments ago they did, partly because of what Jonathan Taylor continues to do for this team. He's a freshman who continues to pile up, what is it now, three 200-yard rushing game performances? Really? Woo-hoo! 67 of them right here on a third and two early on in the game. Badgers up 7-0. Before he can blink, they get the ball back. Alex Warner broke to Quintez Cephas. Man, has Cephas been nice this year, huh? Outstanding this year. Clutch receiver for him. 100 receiving yards on this day. Five grabs for him. Badgers up 14-0. Second quarter, Elijah Sindelar in a QB. Looking to Cole Herdman. Now the flag comes out here on TJ Edwards for targeting. They review it. It's confirmed. He was defenseless. Hit him in the head. Edwards is ejected. And the good thing for him, it was at the end of the first half, so he really only lost 30 minutes and 18 seconds of playing time. He'll be back next week. Danny Zichuku with the interception off of Hornibrook, and he's taking it back. This looks like a comfortable win for Wisconsin, right? But it's only an 11-point lead. They get a field goal out of it, making it a one-possession game as we go into the fourth quarter. Second and goal for the Badgers. More trouble. A rare fumble. Jonathan Taylor loses it. Lorenzo Neal grabs it, and the Boilermakers take over, and then they drive, and they've got a second and goal. Oh, you just need to throw it away. Throw it away. Bad mistake for a young quarterback. Throw the ball away and live to fight another day. Sindelar instead tries to squeeze it in. Leon Jacobs takes it. You can see Jeff Brown saying, throw why? it away. No, he said, why? He said, why <laughs> don't you throw it away? I agree. 17 to 9, your final score. Wisconsin gets the victory. And the Badgers, once again, 3-0 in conference play. They'll likely stay in the top 10 in the country, which next week will make it 15 straight weeks, which will continue the all-time school record that they are on right now.